Thomas was being cleaned when Gordon arrived. Mud had blown all over his smart blue paint. Hello, Gordon, called Thomas. You look as if you've had a mud bath. Be a sensible engine and have a shower instead. Gordon snorted. I haven't time to dawdle over my appearance like fussy tank engines do. The wind blew stronger. Gordon, slow down, called his driver. This made Gordon crosser still. Now I'll be dirty and late, dirty and late, he hissed. At the next station was a sign. All trains must wash down daily. James had just finished being cleaned. Come on, Gordon, said his driver. You'll feel better, too, after a good hose down. Bah, said Gordon, and angrily let off steam. You're a very naughty engine, said Gordon's driver. Now James will need another shower. You'll have to wait your turn till later. Good riddance, huffed Gordon. I'm far too busy to waste time with water. He finished his journey safely and steamed into the big station. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. So were Gordon's coaches and the passengers. Goodness gracious, said Sir Topham Hatt. You can't pull the train. Henry will have to do it. Gordon, you'd better get clean straight away. Gordon was soon being washed. Mind my eyes, he grumbled. Then he pulled cars for the rest of the day. Freight trains, freight trains, he spluttered. He felt his position deeply. That's for you, and you, and you. Cars will be cars, laughed James. They won't with me, snorted Gordon. I'll teach them. James got ready to take the express when Gordon returned. Be careful, warned Gordon. The hills are slippery. You may need help. I don't need help on hills, replied James huffily. Gordon thinks he knows everything. Earlier, a storm had swept Gordon's hill, blowing leaves onto the tracks, which made them slippery. Even though the storm had passed, the hill was still difficult to climb. James knew this. The signal showed clear and James began to go faster. I'll do it, I'll do it, he puffed. Halfway up, he was not so sure. I must do it, I must do it. But his wheels slipped on the leaves. He couldn't pull the train at all. Help, help, whistled James. His wheels were turning forward, but the heavy coaches pulled him backwards. The whole train started slipping down the hill. His driver shut off steam and put on the brakes. Then carefully, he stopped the train. Gordon saw everything. Ah, well, we live and learn. Never mind, little James. I'm going to push behind. Clouds of smoke and steam billowed from the snorting engines as they struggled up the hill. We can do it, puffed James. We will do it, puffed Gordon. At last, they reached the top. Beep, beep. Thank you. Goodbye, whistled James. Boop, boop, answered Gordon. Goodbye. That night, Sir Topham Hatt came to see the engines. Gordon was miserable. Please, sir, said Thomas. Can Gordon pull coaches again now? If you understand that having a washdown is essential to every engine, then yes, Gordon, you may. Thank you, grunted Gordon. Dirty or clean, I'm a famous machine. But no one heard but him. <laughs>